Only the referee can stop a fight. And I like that very much as a referee. The doctor should be invited in the ring. The three judges the, who will do the scoring, the referee does not score. It's a 10 point must scoring system. And the one that is interesting to me, at least, that the three knockdown rule does stay in effect despite the fact that this is a championship fight. That's correct. In many uh, jurisdictions, um, it is not in effect. But it is in effect tonight. So there's a look at Doug DeWitt. DeWitt comes into this fight, 27 years old. Comes in with the most impressive record. Those are the most attractive gloves I've seen in a long time. Blue, of course, is my favorite color, and they are beautifully blue. Blue, blue. And DeWitt has been a different fighter, really, since being knocked out by Jose Quinones. Only a draw with Ronnie Essert to mar a perfect record since then. Likewise, Colombe has won eight fights in a row. He is 45 and three, as you can see, with the one draw, 25 knockouts. And as Arthur Mercanti pointed out at the top of the show, a lot of those knockouts coming early in his career. So he is more a boxer than a guy who's going to get you out of there with one punch. Yeah, and they both started their careers in 1980 at the same time. And this crowd remains very, almost respectfully quiet as we await the first round. Patrizio Sambu Colombe. I just noticed the uh, black tights on DeWitt. He has, a, I guess that must be the lacing that's looking up there above the umbilical cord. They should tuck that in. Here we go, round one. Scheduled for 12. Referee is a world-class referee, Carlos Berico from Panama. He's been around a long time. Really important in talking to DeWitt's people that he listened to his corner between rounds. As we mentioned earlier, he has a tendency to be a little bit headstrong, and when he does, he fights his fight instead of the fight he should be fighting. Well, as we said a little earlier, he's going to attempt to change the style. He is doing that for the first round. He's not going in slugging like he generally does. He's standing back, throwing a lot of rapid-fire jabs. He did a left hand in to Colin Bay. Colin Bay, consummate professional, no question about that. Who knows, Colin Bay may change his style and go back to where he was in the beginning, very aggressive and tough. They're trying to outwit one another. And DeWitt with quite a lot of scar tissue under his left eye. And a nose, of course, that uh, has seen the wars. Looks like it's seen the wall, actually. <laughs> jab of Colin Bay being mildly effective early in this fight. And you can see DeWitt trying to use his jab, gets Colin Bay in a corner, goes to the body and brings the left hand up. And again, you have to remark about the crowd, much of it very much in DeWitt's corner. Now, Colin Bay has really taken a chance. He has changed his style in this first round. He's, um, he's attempting to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. If he would remain his old style, he'd probably be better off. It is butted heads a moment ago, too, and that's... Another thing you always have to be aware of, Columbia got an uppercut in there. Yeah, well, they are head to head. Uh, you can see that uh, DeWitt's head is moving left and right. <laughs> Columbia countering nicely with the right hand that time. Columbia is going toe to toe with him. I like the way Colin Bay slips left and right, avoids an awful lot of punishment that way. He's a well-schooled boxer. Colin Bay content to counter here and is doing it effectively in the first round. Uh, Joe Fariello told me, as I said earlier in the day, that uh, DeWitt does have a jab, and he's instructed him and asked him to use it a lot more tonight than he is. And there it is, right there. Flurry of activity, but not a lot of damage administered by Doug DeWitt. Well, he's scoring. That's important yeah. in boxing is to score. Combination off the ropes by Colin Bay. I remember the crowd is going to let you think that Colin Bay is doing more than he is, because it is, despite the fact DeWitt has some support, largely a Colin Bay-supported crowd. So we come down toward the end of the first round of a lot of action. If you thought you had to give up comfort to get a close shave, Norelco says, think again. Their revolutionary shaving system shaves skin close in a way that's incredibly comfortable. As the hair enters the chamber, the patented lift and cut system lifts each hair and holds it a split second before a blade cuts it, so it's possible to shave skin close without the blades even touching the skin. The lift and cut shaving system from Norelco. We made close comfortable. 
ESPN is your ticket to the NFL when the Minnesota Vikings and Dallas Cowboys go head-to-head. -head. The Vikings' Anthony Carter lights the fuse on a team just waiting to explode. Deep in the heart of Texas, Herschel Walker bulldozes a clear path for the Cowboys. The Minnesota Vikings and Dallas Cowboys battle head-to-head -head on NFL Sunday Night Football at 8 Eastern, live on ESPN. Well, a lot of action in that first round between Sambu Kalambe and Doug DeWitt. Kalambe might have gotten a little better of it. It was a very interesting round. We are going to have, as we predicted, a very interesting fight tonight. This is the second round. You could tell, too, very knowledgeable boxing crowd here in Monte Carlo. They start out pretty much observers, and they were really into it when there was any damage inflicted at all by either man. Yeah, it's a very formal kind of crowd. They're well-dressed and very polite. But when uh, they have to applaud, they do. Rick! Rick! They expect to see His Royal Highness Prince Albert. You brought up something, I'm sorry, Barry, you brought up something a moment ago, and it's very apparent now that Doug DeWitt has his head under his chin because, well, Colin Bay might be about a half inch taller, it appears to be. And Rick! again, DeWitt lunging. Vamos, vamos, Rick! Let's take a look at how you saw the well, first round. Well, I had Bay winning uh, by a slight margin because of his elusiveness and his slipping back and forth. And he got more of the powerful punches than I gave it to Colin Bay, a 10-9 round. Colin Bay just threw an uppercut that was just a little short, but it didn't miss by much, and it was there for him. Now, Doug DeWitt, of course, would be better if he would be less aggressive and kind of step back a little more, uh, draw his opponent in, which he's not doing. He's... Uh, He's going right in. He's going to get tagged with those Rick. powerful right hands, which was attempted oh. then. Colombe has some impressive victories recently. Beat Mike McCollum, who I really thought was an outstanding fighter when he knocked Donald Curry out. Beat Aran Barkley, who of course went on to beat Tommy Hearns. I agree with you on McCallum. I was always very, very high on his ability, and he beat him, and he did. It was a very, very intelligently fought fight. Now look at that's a nice jab that he throws down below into the. The midsection, the solar plexus. And he's also a guy who, even though he is 32 years old, seems to really be at the peak of his career right now. He seems to have gotten better over the last two, three years. Well, that uh, all depends upon the athlete himself. He is a well-disciplined athlete. You can tell the, the way he looks. He's got good, good skin. He's tight. Through a quick combination there, the right hand behind the left jab. And there's another right hand that caught DeWitt ducking in. Colin Bay is throwing a beautiful right cross tonight, and he's connecting with it. Well, he said that that was his best punch, did he not? Yes, he did say that. And he's, uh, he, uh, he seems to be taking a chance, Colin Bay, tonight. He's not, uh, as he said, he's changed his style. That was a good left hand, too. The right missed, but he came right back with the left and again caught DeWitt leaning in. Now, if there's anyone responsible for the clinching, you will see that it's DeWitt. End of the second round. And we're in the corner of Doug DeWitt. Neither man has really been hurt, but Colin Bay really looking all the part of the professional. And I don't know if you can hear that, but telling him to get inside, Joe Fariello. You can tell DeWitt respects Joe Fariello very much because he's really listening. A lot of fighters do not listen, but he is. Uh, there is uh, DeWitt uh, uh, fighting a little dirty. He was holding him around the, uh, the head and throwing the uppercut. DeWitt is super anxious. And uh, the counterpunching on the part of Sumbu Sum is terrific. Howie Albert said, if he doesn't listen, I'm not going to put the stool down. <laughs> Round number three, a good first two rounds. Very up-tempo. This for the WBA Middleweight Championship. Colin Bay, the champion, before the home folk, or nearly the home folk. Now, there's the jab that Joe Fariello wants DeWitt to throw. If he could keep that up all night, he'd be okay. And then come across with that right cross and set him up. 
Bob Arum telling us a little bit earlier that he hopes to match the winner of this with Michael Nunn, who I like a whole lot. I'll tell you, I'm putting Michael Nunn right up there with the Chavezes as the best around pound for pound right now. Colin Bay has already agreed to that Rick. fight should he get by DeWitt tonight. Yeah, assuming that he does win, it would be a terrific fight. Colin Bay looks very good tonight. He's got all the combinations. He does throw very, very short six-inch punches. He waits for his opponent like that. He waits for his opponent to come in, and then he snaps it. Good right hand again. and a combination there also. Now, Colin Bay should be moving out of that corner. That's a very dangerous place to stay. He's fighting very well, but he should get out of that corner, move and stab and jab. Also a low blow by Doug DeWitt, and it did draw a warning from the referee. He's a very good referee in there tonight from Panama. Good right hand, of course, we see that. That's that right cross we talked about. And Colin Bay, very sharp tonight. And the reason he's being hit with that right cross is because he's dropping his left hand. If he would keep it up, he could avoid being hit. And that uppercut is really there for Colin Bay, too. There he took the right on the way in and a right hand behind it. And again, a right hand by Colin Bay and another low blow by DeWitt. Yeah, but DeWitt comes right back. As we said before, he's a very, very game kid. When you hit him, he, he doesn't budge. It's very disparaging and frustrating for an aggressive fighter to see him still there. And again, the right hand by Colin Bay. Hasn't really hurt DeWitt, but he's scoring with it very convincingly. Well, Colin Bay has got that, uh, as I said, that whip to the punch. He's, he's got a short, great punch. He's, he's, in, he's in position. And now going to the body, he's had a couple of good body shots. And after that last one, DeWitt took a half step back and took a deep breath. He better not get too reckless with that left uppercut because it looks low on many occasions, being warned again. Colin Bay is fighting a different style tonight than he did with McCallum. He's, uh, he's right in it. He's right in the fight. DeWitt backs him off at the jab. Colin Bay misses a lunging left hand. Now DeWitt is is throwing a lot of left hooks. He should be throwing the jab. And he took a left hand as we come down toward the end of round number three. Another big round for the champion. We'll be back. It's on. It's on. The free holiday We start the fourth round, and that was a very good third round, I think, Arthur. Yes, for Sambu Kalambe. One of his best. I do notice they're using an awful lot of Vaseline in Kalambe's co uh, corner. That's really disallowed. They, they're allowed to use it, but uh, to a minimum. DeWitt's left eye is slightly abrazed on the left, under the left eye. Yeah, he came means, into the ring with that. Oh, I see. It means nothing. The only time an injury to the eye is bad is when it's in the eyelid itself. But above the eye or below the eye, it's not dangerous. Let's take a look at your scorecard here, well, I, You know, we have a shout-out here, a shout-out, and we have Colin Bay ahead by uh, 30 to 27. He's winning all three rounds. Colin Bay looks excellent tonight. He's uh, a combination fighter tonight, slugger and boxer. And you can see DeWitt get that left hand in, but it is only getting in with limited success. Does not back Colin Bay off of him at all. Barry, what we said earlier, and you brought it up, is uh, you get back to your natural habits. You see, he's a left hooker. You can see it. He was told to jab, 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 but he's left hooking an awful lot. DeWitt says, come on, that didn't hurt. Colin Bay doing very well to the body in the last round and a half. He was born warned again. DeWitt hit uh, behind the kidneys there. Of course, that is a minor foul, but if he continues it two or three times, it's a major foul. Once again, you can't emphasize enough, Colin Bay very sharp with his punches with both hands. That time he got in with a three-punch combination and took nothing in return. And there's another right hand. That was a good one. Back with a right uppercut. Right now you can see the type of fighter that DeWitt is. He, he loves a fight. He's almost like a street fighter. Come on in. Come on in. Take a chance with me. And that's what he's doing. Instead of backing off. Not only taking a chance, taking advantage. Colin Bay apparently is in excellent shape. Not even breathing. Not a mark on him. And he knows how to clinch. That's important in boxing. When to take a rest. 
Yeah, that's Colin Bay really looks every bit the professional. Yeah, uh, that's so important in boxing. They know when to take a rest, they know when to clinch. And then when the referee comes in, they break it themselves. There's that right hand again, bouncing off the ropes with the right hand. Very quick hands. It's very, very annoying to DeWitt. You can see now he's, uh, DeWitt is holding the back of the head and he wants him in close. He feels he's better in close. I would like to see Joe Fariolo give DeWitt uh, some advice as far as backing off, dancing around, coming in occasionally, get score and get out. Right hand, 52 seconds left in this round. And we have just had a two minute round unless the clock here in the stadium. And you see the clock up in the top portion of your screen winding down, but it was a three minute round. The clock had it as a four yeah, minute well, round. Well, they have a different, uh, I understand a different method of timing here. On every clinch, they kind of stop the clock here. I don't know, it's unusual. They have different rules in tally in this federation. Now, we'll assume that the watch of the timekeeper is the but correct one, please. and the clock oh, the double, okay. above yeah, the double fighters double. on the scoreboard is incorrect, because that one still shows 14 seconds left. Uh, you can take a look at Callum Bay now. He's in excellent shape, not breathing. But still, again, they're applying an awful lot of Vaseline, as you saw there. But this time, it's a little better. So we start the fifth round. Oh, now that's what he should be doing. That jab was terrific. If he could just back off a little bit now and then go in and jab, jab, and score, that would, should be his style. I like the way he blocks the jab. DeWitt blocks that jab very well by just parrying it across. There's that typical parrying of a jab. Good defensive move. Now, a little holding and hitting that time, and that's yeah. what the warning was. Yeah, but the warning, I believe, there was the wrong fight. He was warning Colin Bay when uh, it was really DeWitt who was holding and hitting. Yes, it was. And DeWitt kind of chasing Colin Bay, but really not chasing him effectively. Let's take a look at your card, Arthur. Yeah, well, I think your scorecard is perhaps the same. I have a 40, uh, a 40 36, which relates to a 10 uh, to 4 zip. It's a shutout for Colin Bay. 4 nothing. Four rounds to Colin Bay leading with the right hand and being very effective with it. Okay, go for it. Colin Bay appears to be quite a gentleman. He's a European type boxer. They are kind of gentle. And but as we said before in the show, uh, DeWitt is a Rocky Graziano type. He's always boring in. And Colin Bay being very effective with the right hand lead. There Colin it is Bay. again. Colin Bay has a tendency to throw low punches. Even jabbing low. Fifty seconds remaining in this round. Round five. I'm surprised that Colin Bay takes so many chances. He does lead with a right off, and that's dangerous. He could be hit kind of punched with a right cross by Doug DeWitt. It just seems, though, that he gets off so much quicker than DeWitt. Yeah, he's very fast for a 33-year-old man. That's for fact. There it is again, the right-hand lead. Right-hand lead, that's right. He can get away with it with a fighter like DeWitt. I'll tell you one thing about DeWitt, Barry. I wouldn't want to meet him in an alley. No. He's a tough fighter. Doug ought to carry his chin down a little more. He's carrying it very high. His head is high. Again, good body work. And now he comes upstairs, does Colin Bay with a combination. And we have come to the end of round five. This is not the time to learn that all antifreezes aren't the same. What's in your radiator? Come on, answer.
Energizer batteries were never invited to that other battery's playoffs. And today's Energizer won't be invited either, because no battery lasts longer than Energizer. A word to the wise, Energize. The next stop on ESPN's World Tour 88, sponsored by Thrifty Car Rental, is Hawaii for the NFL Pro Bowl. If you're a winner, we'll take you and a guest to Honolulu for an all-expense-paid week of sun and fun, including tickets to the Pro Bowl. For details on how to enter, call 1-800-525-ESPN. That's 1-800-525-ESPN. Remember, whenever you travel, Thrifty Car Rental has over 650 locations to serve you worldwide. We start the sixth round, Sambu Kalambe, or Patrizio Kalambe, as he is even called in his own corner, pretty much having his way with Doug DeWitt. And Patrizio has a son he's calling him Patrizio. He has called, named him Patrizio. He likes that name. He wants to change it from Sambu, I imagine. There's another child on the way. Okay, Rick, out. Patrizio is very level-headed, very, very calm, and he's not breathing at all. Just a little short with that right hand, and it was right there. But I'll tell you, it is a, it's effective, the way he throws it. There's another low blow by DeWitt. Okay. He's being one. You'll notice how Sambu or Patricio keeps his hands very high, doesn't get hit too much. Oh, what a right hand that time. That might have been the best shot of the fight. Okay. He, he leads in with okay. the right shoulder. He pivots on that right foot. He puts all his weight behind his right cross. But that's the point there. It's so frustrating. He hits a very good right, very effective, but he doesn't seem to move uh, DeWitt except for this moment right there. And again, it was the right hand. He's also doing some pretty effective body work in here. There's the left hand. He got DeWitt turned, came with the left hand. DeWitt's low oh, uppercut with the right hand. You're really watching a craftsman in Sambu Kalambe. Absolutely. A great, he's getting a boxing lesson here. Another right hand lead. And another right hand. I don't know how much more punishment DeWitt can take. He's taking an awful lot around the head. And you know, what gets me is that uh, Patricio is not throwing anything to the solar plexus all to the head. Right hand lead, the left uppercut, and the right hand uppercut behind it. That one was a little short, but not much. Yeah, uh, Colin Bay is loading up now. He's throwing very, very effective hooks and right crosses. Got a good example of the fight prior. We were talking about a fighter who was an arm puncher. Now here's a guy who snaps just about every punch off. I will say that Colin Bay, though, is guilty of fouling a little bit. Uh, he hit right at the Spartan, then right at the uh, trunk lid there. So we're trying to duck under that, and he was sitting there waiting for an uppercut that would have put him in France. It seems that uh, DeWitt is welcoming those punches, and he shouldn't be doing that. He should be stepping back now. Either clinch or okay. step back. Change the style. Colin Bay really putting on a clinic here. We'll walk you back to Doug DeWitt's corner, and it may be time for change of strategy. but you got to throw punches, but that's easier said than done when you got a glove in your face. 
Yeah, but uh, I kind of think that, that 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 advice to get on the inside is not working for him. Maybe you ought to stay on the outside a little more and do as uh, Joe Fariola said earlier, jab, 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 step back, then come across to the right. You really have to be impressed that Colin Bay, just by virtue of the fact he doesn't waste any punches, he makes almost every punch count. Now you'll notice how quick he is on his feet on his retreat. He steps back quickly and gets right back in the action. Take a look at your scorecard, Arthur, and there was a right hand again. So DeWitt came with about five punches. Most of them missed, and Colin Bay got one punch in, and it was the best of the lot. Yeah, and I have it as 6 nothing. It's 6 nothing. It's a shutout. Yeah. Colin Bay. And another big right hand in the center of the ring. Colin Bay is extremely impressive tonight. Again, the right hand, left hand first, and then the right hand behind it. The, his combinations are just incredible, incredible. Lefts and rights are left, hooks everything and throws beautifully. That was a left hand that... What a left hook that was to the chin. Looks like he's not going to make it. It's over. And Sambo Patrizio Colombe has put on a clinic here in Monte Carlo. And it was a good call. Barakal did a good job in stopping that fight because the wind was really hurt. What a tremendous left hook that was. Right to the right spot. Just classic. And in fact, he threw probably two dozen classic punches in that fight. Oh, he was picture perfect tonight, really. That should be, they should make that a film and show the techniques of boxing. That was fantastic. Well, it was a highlight film of Sambu Kalambe's life, I'll tell you that. I just heard that poor Duck is not hurt because he took an awful lot around the head. He's not a bleeder. You can see that it looks like he wasn't even in a fight. Uh, but he did take an awful lot of punishment. Well, he was in there against a classy fighter tonight. There's no question about it. And Doug DeWitt looks to be okay, and that, of course, is good news. But he did take a good old-fashioned look. Did you see the attempt he made to get up? He wasn't disappointed in the, of the fight, which was good. But he did get up. He was valiant. He tried. And he knew that he couldn't do it. Very impressive performance by the winner. Here's another look at it, Arthur. Yeah, now here he is. You're going to see that knockdown. He, he comes in. He drops his right, but he comes across with that left hook. And, of course, he looks very awkward to with at this point, and Colin Bay realizes that, and there's a couple of combinations. He missed with the right hand, but here it is. He was in line for that right. That missing of the right cross was just perfect for him because he was in balance. He came in with the left hook, and there it is. And the great irony is this might have been the first right hand he missed all night. <laughs> That's right. But did you notice the way he was in balance when he missed? He came right back and threw a great, great left hook uppercut. I'm glad to see that Doug is all right. He's a fine, fine young man, really. He's engaging in conversation with Joe Ferriola, and now he is on his feet to the applause of the crowd here. Very good crowd here in Monte Carlo. Can't say enough nice things about the people here. This fight, of course, big conversation all over the city today.